there are some huge changes to WordPress 5.0. Here's what you need to know to hit the ground running with it. In the next few minutes, we'll go over what's new in WordPress, how to use the new block editor, and how to switch back to the classic editor. Finally, we'll share some tips for working with the new editor. The big new feature is the upgraded editor. It's really different from the old editor, and we know that the change can cause some frustration. The content you created before WordPress 5.0 probably looks like this now. It's contained within a classic block. You can still edit the text, but we recommend that you convert your content to blocks. This will allow you to take full advantage of the new editor. If converting the blocks didn't work correctly, you can use the undo button here. Remember that you don't have to convert your old content immediately. Just revisit it when you have time later. The new editor works with the concept of blocks. Your content is now a collection of blocks. This video and this paragraph and all the paragraphs on the page are all separate blocks. This allows us to apply specific settings to each block. For example, I can add a drop cap and change the background color just for this paragraph. There are lots of useful blocks available to you now. You can see a list of all of them by clicking the Add Block button. If you have a setup that is not fully compatible with the new block editor, you can disable it by installing the Classic Editor plugin. Go into your plugin screen, search for the Classic Editor. Install it, and then activate the plugin. And now you can edit your content just like you used to previously. The Classic Editor will allow users to choose which editor they prefer when creating content. Go into your profile page and then you can choose your preferred editor mode. Now before you give up completely on the new editor, we suggest that you check out these tips. The first tip is to upgrade your plugins and themes. The new block editor has been in development for the past two years there is a big chance that any incompatible themes and plugins have been updated for compatibility. For example, the popular Visual Composer plugin now allows you to switch back and forth between the page builder mode and the block editor. Themes that have been upgraded for the block editor feature styles that match the published content much more closely and enable wide and full width alignments so that you can create really engaging experiences. For power users, you can find a list of keyboard shortcuts here. My favorite shortcut is the forward slash, which allows you to quickly search for a block and then insert it into the page. The classic block can help you bridge the gap of your old workflow and the new editor. If there's something that you cannot do with the new editor, add a classic block to the page. Now you have access to the old toolbar and shortcodes that were available in the previous version of WordPress. Here I'm adding an accordion with the shortcodes ultimate plugin, which relies, of course, on shortcodes. Not particularly pretty, but it works and will hopefully tide you over for the moment. You can also add new blocks by installing them from the plugins screen. The Core Blocks plugin comes with an accordion block. Working with this block is much easier than the shortcodes from the previous example. We hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please share it with your friends.